Welcome to the Pro Cheerleading Podcast, hosted by Makiba and Brittany, two former NFL cheerleaders discussing hot topics in the pro cheerleading industry and revealing the truth behind the palms. Welcome to Ice. Ice. Baby. This is Brittany. This is Makiba. Episode number six. Wow. You're up in that ass. It's like already... Okay. (laughs) I just scared Brittany. Um, But no, we're like more than halfway through the end of our second season. That's why I'm tripping. It's flying by. We're having a lot of fun. We're doing a lot of interviews, a lot of traveling. We sure are. And we got more up our sleeves. But this episode is all about hockey and dancers for hockey teams. Yep. Who knew? I didn't even know that they had dance teams for hockey at all and as we started this podcast and started doing research um it looks like there's all sorts of variations right i mean there are ice girls for the nhl some of the teams are co-ed but they look like they're well yeah they have girls that are actually know how to ice skate and they come scrape the ice and pick up excess ice particles i guess Mm -hmm. in between the zamboni going around i just love that word zamboni i know right my future children (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Probably not, but it just makes me think Michael Jackson, like, sham on it, you know? Sham. Anyway, whatever. What were we saying? They do, the ice girls are... They know how to ice, ice skating. skating. Yes. Yep, and they're working the rink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then they have girls that dance, like, I think of the Dallas Ice Girls, Dallas Stars Ice Girls, mm-hmm. excuse me, that... Are, they look like they're on platforms within the hockey arena, and they dance. Like behind the goals, it looks like Okay, they have like a platform, yeah, that they'll perform on and, and do promos and things like that. Right, with their pom-poms and their cute little like knee-high socks and the whole nine. And then there are girl teams that dance on the ice, but on a platform or a carpet or something. Yeah, some they'll sort. roll the carpet out, and then they scoot out there on, onto the carpet and perform, and then scoot back off. Which looks scary but what we saw this weekend on a was pure magic right i'm still speechless like i can't even everybody has to go and look at the link that we're going to provide to the portland winterhawks rosebuds dancers it's a mouthful i have tripped over it a few times but their instagram page has some of the clips of their performances and as you can see they have no carpet no rug, no platform. No special ice shoes or skate rink shoes. Ice skating. Ice skates. skating. Ice skates. <laughs> we wow, we're right watching now? this. Okay, well, explain why we were even down there. Yes. Why were we down there? Because well, for our- Lindsay's birthday. Oh, yeah. no, she was on Where right. Are You Now? Yes, she did our one of my favorite episodes, just kind of reminiscing on her time in the Super Bowl. And um, it was her birthday a couple weeks ago, and we had this huge snowstorm here in Seattle. And it was she was in Thailand. Plan. She was husband. traveling around with her husband for two and a half weeks. Um, so the pedestrians were reunited yes, in Portland. The whole crew. We went down to Portland on Saturday and uh, went out exploring. And um, but we were Vicky and Kristen. Kristen were so gracious to invite us down for a game. Um, so that we can actually see them perform. And they gave us such awesome seats. Like, Dead, hello, center, Dead center, super close. Bro J. I had never been to a hockey game either. That's Lindsay said she went to the Thunderbirds here that are at the Showwear Center in Kent. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're in the same league. Of what league, we don't know. It's hard to just, you know, to... I'm learning. Now I'm mm-hmm. kind of like curious. And I'm going to probably research and stuff because I'm like a, a, a geek. But, um, but it sounds like this is like the league of like 18 to 21-year-old 16. Guys. Oh, 16. 16 That's to right. 21. 16 to 21 year old kids that end up getting drafted into the NHL. So it's like they're almost like they're minor league team. Mm-hmm. But uh, great. They're actually really competitive. They were saying they're going to probably go into the playoffs and stuff. So um, we so- thought they were pro just by the dancers, though. The Rosebuds are like top notch for sure. Dancers. And they're doing it all night. So they deserve a major league award because. Yeah. I mean, we can't wait to share the interview with you. We don't give, want to give too much away, but the tricks that they're doing, the intensity in which they dance, like, they didn't seem timid at all. Like, I would have been, like, my knees would have been shaken. Number one, I'm cold. Hello. Like, the ice, they're rolling around on it and stuff. Did you see the rolling around? Yeah, the death drop and stuff. Yeah, no. My body would just hate me. <laughs> well, besides that, when our friend Liesl, who mm-hmm. we danced with on Seagulls, you'll hear that in the interview, but... 
she met us at the door and we got backstage access. Oh, it was talk super about the cool. VIP treatment. It yeah. was just so nice. But she took us to the rink just to see like where the players skate out and where the girls run out. And I slipped. I didn't tell you that, but you I was did? already slipping because there was like frozen ice underneath underneath the, the door and I was like let's take a push picture <laughs> <laughs> anyways it was very smooth I missed that it's very slippery but cold too like I said I'm just I'm so impressed with the ladies they were so friendly and just sweet to us and we kind of got to, to know them they have like all these promos that they do around the stadium or the arena mm-hmm. um, before the game and they did a juniors program before we arrived so they had a long day 8 a.m. they were dancing with these kids and pretty much probably just stayed there so that they can actually practice on the ice, I think they were saying. So, long day, great attitudes, fun to watch, energy, just, I was really, really impressed by these ladies and want to come back for another game. Yes. Okay, Je- Vicky. And, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but we cannot wait to see them perform again. I mean, we got to see them perform twice, and uh, I just can't say how much I'm obsessed. Yeah. Should we just let's dive into it? Should we? Do we have anything else to add? Well, Portland was weird. You know, keep oh. Portland weird. <laughs> it wasn't as weird as I thought. The only thing that was weird was just that I didn't get to eat as much food as I thought I was going to eat because everybody's out there eating brunch. Stay home so that visitors can eat brunch at your wonderful yeah, restaurant. Yeah, we got denied yeah. at times. the brunch places. That was rejection. I ate a donut, though. Blue Star. Blue Hello. Star Donuts. Very good. Very good. Very good. I got a free donut, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you managed that, but... It was just really nice. I didn't get no free donut. I know. Well, without further ado... On to the interview. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, Vanilla Ice is kind of cute. Do you think so? Huh? Now that I look back at the video, I'm like, is he cute? Vanilla Ice? He was kind of hot. Yes, he's still hot. He still is? He's still very attractive. Oh, okay. He did a home renovation show. Oh, um, a few right. years back, and he was just as badass as ever, I feel like. I don't okay. know. I have to look and see how tall he is. Yeah, and he could do the little, like, jump through the leg move really oh, well. Yeah. And I try to do that a bunch, and I fall on my face. <laughs> <laughs> do that on ice. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Okay, let's just get to it. Hi, oh. welcome in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Portland. We are live and on location, to sound all official about it. Yeah. We're in Portland because we just went to our very first hockey game. The Portland Winter Hawks Rosebuds dance team killed the damn thing. Mm-hmm. And we have one. <laughs> <laughs> and a few extra, right? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, let's set it up. Yeah. Who are we with? We're like, we were rolling with Jolanda. Deep. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> we all dance together. Yes. yes. So Jolanda and Lindsay. Lindsay was on the Where Are You Now <laughs> episode. Well, duh, they know who we are. Our guest. Okay. Our special guest. We dance with on the Seagulls. This is like the best intro ever, right? Liesl. <laughs> Store. Is that how you say it? Yep. No, changed okay. my name to Guy, but like two weeks ago. So. Ooh, oh, nice. Right? Congrats. Congrats. Thanks. How do you feel about the name change? I feel good. It just takes yeah. a hot second. It does. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. To change everything. Liesl Guy. Oh, yeah. 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 I like that. Liesl Guy. But anyway, so we danced <laughs> with the Seahawks with Liesl. Went to the Super Bowl in Arizona we together. Did. Oh my gosh, that's that so fun. The 2015 season, right? Yeah, 20, 2014. 14, yeah, 2014. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super Bowl 2015. Yeah. yeah. All that jazz. We had to do one season and go to the Super Bowl. I was like, this is not real. <laughs> yeah. It goes by so, I mean, I don't know, for it to be back to back to, it was crazy. And you yeah. guys were roommates. Right? We, we, were. Were. we were. We were roommates. We were totally roommates. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yeah. So, Waking up at 4 a.m. to put on your makeup. <laughs> or actually, probably 2.30 Yeah, me. it was more like What that. did you guys have to do? What promo did you guys do? I did do? this fantastic uh, radio promo at a bar at, like, 5 a.m. So I think I my call time was probably 3. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Jeez. It was a little overwhelming. Days. There was a lot of crazy fans, and we were pretty tired. Um, but we were walking around this really packed bar in our promo tire. Squad 1, the shorties. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lisa, were you were with... Me, like we did yeah, that weird TV thing. We did um, Fox and Friends. Oh, yeah, and that's right. Good Morning America. 
I didn't do Good Morning America. We, I think we were right next door, so like we okay. were right hanging out. I think the the Patriot girls were over there. Yeah. Was it with like Jesse Palmer? Yes. Yeah. yeah okay, I was there. I, I yeah. did that one with you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then we met a really beautiful Victoria's Secret model. Oh, that's right. That. I, I was. I don't remember her name, but she was beautiful. She had this yes. whole entourage of people, and it was she like, was unreal. <laughs> she was really sweet too. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at everybody. I think I was. It's that same bar. You did right? that King yeah. Five News. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. we did that, and then we went and did a little TV spot another morning. We didn't get, Squad 1 didn't get any love. We didn't get any of the TV promos, and then they decided to come back and give us one. So we oh. had to go early the next morning oh, no. and do something with uh, Tima. We had oh, our, yeah. our, our picture. Um, I don't know where we were, honestly. We just got in a van and went. <laughs> Seriously. It was so spread out in Arizona. Yeah. I'm like mm-hmm. New York. Didn't we also do the E! Entertainment? Oh, with the segment? Oh, with the, that one of the gals, with the gymnast. The famous gymnast. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. She that's came right. to our practice. We taught her, like, part of her oh, routine yeah. or something. Yeah. Sean Johnson, Nikki. right? Yeah. Oh, that's yes. it. Yeah. There was yeah. a handstand contest? Yeah. Yeah, with Natalie. Oh, yeah. Natalie won. And she won. Yeah, that was kind of a... I think she had just had a baby or something, yeah. though, the oh, gymnast. Yeah. That Natalie like... has a kid, too. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> no, that was just that busted room. That hotel was just so janky to me, but, like, we were practicing in that... Weird long mm, conference for Holiday Inn. <laughs> so bad. So, Liesl, give us a little take on your dance background because you've literally danced everywhere. Everywhere. I've danced for a couple of years now. Mm, um, I, when I was a baby, I auditioned for Blazers. I was on the team for seven years, but I took a lot of breaks. So I went and danced on cruise ships for a little bit. And I went oh, and danced on cruise ships. Yeah, too. I remember you telling me about that. Like, that awesome. is so cruise cool. Ships. Um, which is like a whole other episode. Holy moly, that Ooh. was that's amazing. We should get you and KL together. I'm upset. I told KL we have to. Yeah, because she, she did cruise ships. She did cruise ships too. Oh, mm-hmm. crazy stories. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, ships for a little bit, and then I did a scholarship down in California for a little bit for dance, and then um, I was on Portland Lumberjacks. We used to have a professional lacrosse league here, and then they, you guys stole them and went back up to Seattle. <laughs> oh. And uh, and then I came home, auditioned for Blazers again, and then retired from there and came up to Seattle and got to audition and dance with you ladies mm-hmm. for a year. And I came back down. I thought I was retired after Seagals, but as you guys know, sometimes you miss it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I auditioned for Winterhawks. And so now I'm a rosebud, which is so fun for me. <laughs> yeah, so? you guys did awesome. We are so obsessed now with hockey. I know I am. <laughs> I mean, now that we know that they're a little younger, okay. I feel bad that we were encouraging them to fight. The hockey but, players. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, but they're good at it. They're yeah. fine. Oh, they're amazing. <laughs> yeah, they were so talented. With the fights. Oh, the fights? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah no. Encouraging the fight. Yeah, they do fight. They do yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, we were so green with everything about game day for you guys because you guys were literally dancing on the ice. And yeah. can you break it down? Totally. <laughs> you guys were so fun last night. You were like 20 questions, and I'm like, I get it. <laughs> it's so you foreign. had it, too. You weren't you, you yeah. didn't dance on the so, ice. So um, the coach, Kristen, is my best friend. So as soon as she got that job, she's been doing the coaching position for like 10 years now. So as soon as she got the job, I feel like I've been fangirl central for the Rosebuds. So like I used to choreograph for them every year. And I would come to all of their games and hang out, I'm going to say backstage, but back in the locker room with them. So I feel like, I, and my little sister danced for them for a few years. So like, oh, I've been like all about the Rosebuds for the longest time. So I feel like I got to watch the progression of how she's like created the team mm-hmm. through the years. So to actually dance for them is like a whole other world. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so game day, the same thing that you guys experience for football, right? You still have to show up like about uh, three hours before the game so we can actually set on the ice. So we call it ice practice instead of like field practice mm-hmm. or something, right? We dance for uh, probably like 45 minutes or so. We mark on the ice and they'll play the music for us. Question. Yeah. I'm like, what is it? Already <laughs> a question. No, so, you know, you have the logo in the middle of the ice. Yeah. Rink. I don't know if that's what you call it. But um, what are you setting off of? Like, are there, there's no <laughs> lines. There's no, like, there's no field markers. Yard <laughs> yeah. markers. So, what are you setting We have off a of? massive logo in the center of the of the ice and so we literally have to set off of that there's also um a center line that's red and it has little boxes on it so we set off of the boxes as well but literally like the logo you'll be like i'm on the eye mm-hmm. literally <laughs> the eyeball. Okay. so you actually have to set off of that and then you have to you have to use your 
the girls' peripherals mm-hmm. and all of that big time. So it's not necessarily like you're setting on Because the lines yeah. were perfect last they night. They were. Too. I actually Ooh, saw a girl thanks. like adjust before it started. I'm mm-hmm. like, what is she basing this off of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got lined up, but it right. was just so interesting. It's so foreign, too, because NBA, they set off of different mm-hmm. things on the floor mm-hmm. and then feel, oh my gosh, when I jumped to NFL, I was like, wait, hold. It was a whole other learning <laughs> curve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you get to ice. It's a whole other land, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So like cool. all the learning curves for every single team is totally different. Wow. You guys were doing turns, uh, oh, a yeah. death drop there at one point. Like, <laughs> seriously. Ooh, I, I don't love know the how death you guys drop are... term. <laughs> <laughs> it was what so awesome. Like, it was so cool. Yeah. They do some crazy stuff on the ice, and I still, like, my goodness, the veterans are not phased by it at all. And I'm like, you want us to do what on the ice? Like, I still have moments where I'm like, that is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. It's so crazy. When you used to choreograph for them, though, did you make your choreography knowing totally. that? Totally. I had to like rearrange be... it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, you have to be really careful with formations, too. So, like, you can't give them too quick of a formation change because they have to do it in their spot. <laughs> and you have to be careful yeah. with the technique or the tricks that you give them because... And most of the time, the veterans are like, give it anything to us. Like, they're so, like, game on. Like, we're doing this. I couldn't do half that stuff on land. Like, like, wow, on ice. The the vets are like, no fear. I always have to be like, okay, so we're supposed to do this on the ice, and how exactly do you do this? So you have to, like, reverse engineer some of the tricks that you do just because what you would do correctly on land, if you do that, you're going to be on your booty real (laughs) quick. So they'll, like, even give me little tips and tricks. Be like, you got to, like, pop your hip out here. You want to put your weight here. Mm. Okay, thank you. Also, pom-poms, holy moly, you will Mm. not get off the ground if you don't figure out your life before (laughs) pom-poms in your hand on the ice. It's like a whole other world. Yeah. Yeah, so they can do some crazy stuff. They can do really crazy stuff. They just, oh, for the first time, and I feel like I need to give a shout-out to the ladies, they did Alice Cones on the ice, like, what, two weeks ago. I don't even know what that is. Uh, The crazy foot take care. Oh, I saw that, I think. Yeah? You guys posted it, I think. Oh, my gosh. We were so proud. We are like, no one's done this. We got it on the ice. So, yeah, the girls were barely do a super turn. So, yeah, for the record, yeah, you guys are the only dancers, yeah, right? Yeah, that... Only girls who actually dance on the ice. Um, I believe there's one other team that does, and they dance in boots, but uh, for the most part, girls will get carpets rolled out for them, and um, Vicky and... Kristen, who are the coaches, they are really good at reaching out or other teams will reach out to them and actually ask for advice and for help and Mm -hmm. um, definitely like helps them create their programs and what they're doing because no one's ever done what we do. So we have fancy shoes called Ice Buds and we, well, Vicky is actually in charge of doing it now. She actually puts on little studs that would normally go on tires and she takes a tool and does 15, 20 on each shoe for all of the dancers, and it takes a long time. But that's how we dance on the ice. And also, I was explaining to you guys last night, um, they have to, I'm sure, I don't know if everybody knows what a Zamboni is, but it's what they go and clean all of the ice up out with, so it's super slick. That's like a death trap for us. So we don't dance when it's been Zambonied. So we run out after the players have been um, on the ice, and the ice is cut up, and then we're okay. And then the Zambonis will come on right after us and clean up the ice. Zamboni, I just love that name. (laughs) (laughs) Zamboni. Um, So cool. So you have your, like, on ice practice, you get to go through everything and market. And then you guys had promos like all over this. Yeah. um, Yeah. So afterwards we have time to go um, uh, get ready. Just typical locker room stuff. And uh, we get ready for promos. We'll usually go um, a little bit before the game. We do something different every time. So sometimes we go to the VIP um, lounge area where a lot of season ticket holders will be. Sometimes we sit and sign posters on the concourse. Um, Sometimes we walk through the arena and go say hi to all the fans. Welcome them into the game. Um, and then Welcome at the beginning of the game, we got to do it with you. You guys yeah. get around with that. So um, and then at game time, when the game starts, we go and section off in different groups around the arena. And we do basically sidelines, not on the ice. So we're up in like the 100 level. And uh, go and cheer. We wait until a certain part of the day, game, and then we go down and get ready and dance at what the, the hockey calls intermissions. So there's two different intermissions, three different periods of the actual game. And at intermission time, we dance. And um, come back up and cheer again. And in between that, we'll do sweet visits or we'll do certain types of um, promo appearances in the arena. If they do like a lucky row section for sponsors. Yeah, the section next to us won pizza. I know. Oh, oh, I know. So <laughs> <laughs> but it was so cool. And you guys are always all over the place. It's like magic, yeah. just dancing on ice, and then oh, they're over also here. Also, there. Yeah, it's, it's like magic tricks. It's, it's so like, cool. Surprise. Yeah, you guys were very visible. Like you guys can see you all over mm-hmm. throughout the game. It was really cool. I always wonder, like with the NFL, I mean, if we were used in that way, but we're on the field the whole entire time, mm-hmm. so you really... But before games, that would stress me out to be like, 
I mean, you have to sell calendars and do that, but like to kind of be going around and visiting and knowing you have to kind of get in the zone and see. Prepare. And when I came to NFL, oh my goodness, like to actually wrap your head around being on the field for four hours, like that <laughs> was a whole wrap your head around. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. that it's like different for everyone, right? But. NBA, we were doing so many promotional appearances, and I was like, oh, I got this. Like, you get to have an off time for a mm-hmm. second. You get to walk back to the dressing room. You get to change. You get to, like, have you a moment. Your fix, your, yeah. sit, fix yourself. And the NFL, holy moly. You have you crusty look, lips at the end. <laughs> you bright pink, crusty lips. Totally. You're, you're, you're right back at halftime. <laughs> My your gosh. lungs are bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> Half-time appearances, you couldn't even look in the mirror. I remember no, being no. Yeah. If Change. you looked in the mirror, you were like, out the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, she was not having it. <laughs> you you run. I was like, yeah, so NFL versus NBA is like, I mean, a whole other ball So game. what's your favorite? I mean, you, you dance on ice. Oh, my gosh. I know. She's like um, cruise ships. I <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. Um, I would, what's my favorite? Pro, uh, well, I did NFL for one year, uh, but... NBA, I think just because I grew up here and I started here and I still have my very best friends from here. Mm -hmm. And I started as a complete baby, not knowing what this world was. And thank goodness I had veterans on the team who like took care of me at the time. And they were so good to us, like as rookies, which I'm sure all ladies experience different Mm -hmm. team dynamics. Right. I was Mm -hmm. so lucky that I had good girls who wanted the best for the team. Mm -hmm. So they were actually good to us. So I had good experiences on Blazers. So I just kept going back. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I mean, NFL... You cheer on a field for Seahawks, and oh, I there. I still don't even know how to explain it. It's such a different world. Like the energy, the you guys all know this. Yeah, like, yeah. The, the but loudness. we can't compare it to anything mm-hmm. because we've only done NFL, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So it's like we don't know anything but that. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's so crazy. hard to compare. What made so you want to come up and do Seagulls? Like. Just to uh, try I, something new? I have or? been like, what can I do next? Mm-hmm. I've always been an adventure person, so that's why I took breaks from blazers, and I would go off and do other other random dance situations or dance adventures, essentially. Ooh, so, hear about those. <laughs> <laughs> well, like cruise ships, and like when I went down to L.A. and did some funny things, just like random mm-hmm. stuff. Like at one point, I was done with blazers, and I had a job opportunity to go up to Seattle, and I was like, Hmm. Yeah, cool. And for some reason, through the years, um, Portland and Seattle dance world never jumped over. I have no idea why mm-hmm. it took so long. But now it's like this open mm-hmm. open situation where tons of our girls are going up to Seattle to audition for Seagals, which I think is so important. Mm-hmm. I just think that like mm-hmm. people can jump back and forth. Mm-hmm. Like even a Seagal, Charlotte came down and auditioned for Blazer. She's mm-hmm. been on the team. Right. So. Yeah. And I've yeah. seen that happen before too. Mm-hmm. Girls that are trying out, come back down here and do Blazers or something mm-hmm. different. Yeah. So it's, it's great to give them, like, another outlet, you know? Totally. Because it's yeah. devastating to not be able to make a team and want to dance, but you mm-hmm. can go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. as much fun. And all teams are different mm-hmm. styles of dance, so it's oh. like you get something a little bit different everywhere yeah. you go, I bet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I learned how to do that seagull walk. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> you killed it. You kill everything. So you can now you do it in your sleep. <laughs> now you can't yeah. stop walking like yeah. a seagull. <laughs> and I wrongly, I think, anticipate seeing that from other people. Like, even when we were at Pro Bowl, I was kind of like, well, let's, how are they going to walk? And I'm normal. Like, you're the ones that like. <laughs> like people. Like, we're the ones that have this, like, this drive. Like, that I thought was like, yeah, yeah. Trademarked walk. Yeah. I love to see girls. I know. Though. I do it to work. Oh, I still, I still <laughs> sass I, about. I see girls walk to work every day. Oh my god, I love I it. I get a lot of honks. Toot toot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Talk about the team dynamic. So you guys all love each other. We're super... The girls are so sweet. How many of them are there? There is 20 of us on the team. Um, The girls, and I think it comes from the coaches, because Vicky and Kristen are so positive and wonderful to be around. But they want girls who are going to be no drama and actually are good to each other. So that is exactly what I've experienced the whole time on the team. It's not clicky. Everybody's good to each other. Everybody's helpful with each other. Everybody is really nice to each other. So... Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Because it, uh, it could be a very different environment. Well, because sure. your, your season is forever, too. That's a lot it of It is time forever. <laughs> so long. I was so surprised. But um, what's different about ours, so we have, there's some over 40 games like a year, but we don't dance at all those games. So Vicky and Kristen will choose what games we dance at, and it will only be on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Oh, and they okay. choose, and sometimes... Sometimes it's two games a weekend. Sometimes it's one game a weekend. Sometimes they'll have a game on a weekend, but they'll do something that they call promo games. And so the girls will come in and just do promotional appearances and it'll only be a handful of them. 
Um, but we don't dance at all of those games. Got it. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, and then that once playoffs happen, which Winter Hawks are very good, so we usually yeah. always go to the playoffs, um, it, they, it's a case-by-case situation since you don't know when the team's actually going to be playing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's who's available. So uh, Kristen does not like the girls dancing with a cert- with a small amount, so it has to be a certain number of girls who can actually dance on the ice. So as long as people can come yeah. then game on we're dancing mm-hmm. do all 20 of you try to dance at once or yeah like blazers they do a rotation totally so, so um this is why i love this team so much it's very low-key compared yeah. to the other teams which is why i can do it so i'm thankful for that it's <laughs> yeah. only once a week for practice um if you need to miss practice you can which is very different than what i've experienced in the past um if you need to miss practice you miss practice if you miss a practice you don't dance at the next games but it kind of goes hand in hand because mm-hmm. you can't set routines. But on the weekends, if you need to miss a game, you need to miss a game. So it's not a problem at all. However, it never tends to be a problem because the girls want to be there. So there's mm-hmm. no one taking advantage because if, yeah. if you have to miss it. Like, for example, I had to go to Florida for a work trip for a whole week. I could not get out of that. But it was it was I had to miss Wednesday practice. And so mm-hmm. that's how it was. Yeah. Uh, so there's no... Um, as long as you're not taking advantage, which none of the girls do, it's never a problem. Yeah, it's like you audition, you bust your butt to make a team. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. like, if you, mm-hmm. you know, if you are taking advantage, you probably don't even want to do it. Yeah. Because well, we all know what that's like. Like, I don't think in the last six years I've ever taken a vacation longer than, like, a weekend trip or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you do take a trip during the season, it's kind of like, of course, you're learning to dance while you're gone. And yeah. uh-huh. it's very, like, why did you take this trip? Yeah. Like, yeah. Jolanda, your mom got married. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it was, like... Really yeah, stressful. Yeah. <laughs> well, because, yeah, it creates more, not only more work for yourself when you have to learn something, like, not at practice, but then everyone around you has to, like, do different formations, and yeah. it becomes kind of a big ordeal. So mm-hmm. you got to yeah, think twice about it, but some life events happen, you can't control it, or work trips, or, yeah. you know, we all have lives outside of this um, job, so yeah. you got to just live it. So what, how long is the season? September, I think? Yeah. Officially they start in September? Officially in September, and then our last game on the books right now is in March. Oh, wow. Um, but you're going to playoffs? But we're, and... I'm sure we're going to playoffs, which is exciting. Um, so that can last another couple months. Wow. Oh, that is so crazy. Yeah. That's yeah, long. so it is long. So the flexibility is very helpful. Yeah. I want to hear about auditions. Like, do you make the girls go out on the ice? No. audition at all? <laughs> like... Just shoot, <laughs> shoot them out there. No, but like give them a pair of shoes and go. be like, okay, can you, you know, do a like a routine so, on the ice a little bit? Thank goodness, no. Cracked heads everywhere. No. <laughs> oh, oh, no, auditions are ran normal. So it's okay. we have it in a gym. Um, Kristen's used the same facilities for the last so many years, uh, but it's in a basketball court. Cool. Oh, okay. And so she runs it. There's two rounds. First round's jazz. Second round is hip hop. And then there's an interview round, okay. and then they announce the actual girls on the team. Is it only one day? The interviews Sorry, are a separate weekend, and then um, they announce like within a day or two afterwards. So maybe like a week time. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. you'd find out. Okay. First, you always have like a boot camp, so the first there's like two two days that she'll take, and you guys learn as many, the girls will learn as many routines as possible. And then there's always the first practice, and what's really convenient, we practice at LA Fitness because we have some really, really awesome sponsors. So um, coincidentally, the Lloyd Center Mall is right next door to it, so we they have an ice skating rink there, so we actually go after hours and walk right across. It's in the same parking structure, actually. So we can walk into the mall, and we have ice practice right after we're at LA Fitness, which is really convenient. Oh. So we actually can practice on the ice. So the very first time that you are a rookie and you walk onto the ice, they're like, all right, let the rookies figure this out. So they definitely (laughs) let us like scoot onto the ice and all that funny stuff. Yeah. So like, I always laugh because, um, for years I would come and hang out with Kristen behind the scenes and like Vicky would like hold my hand to walk out onto the ice for ice (laughs) practice. And they're like, do not take your hand off of the railing (laughs) with those shoes. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can actually move now. So like you can do a lot more stuff with those shoes going on. Gosh. So it's not like snow trekking type shoes. Clearly I'm not a snow person or ice person, (laughs) but like it's just, it it makes sense. You have more traction. (laughs) Yeah. I guess I was thinking you'd be wearing something to be like stab in the ice, but not... Uh, really, it's or? kind of like it's kind of like it grinds spots in the ice, so like it cuts it up. It cuts up the ice for Got you. you. Yeah. Thank you. That's helpful. Because mm-hmm. I was thinking spikes. You know, like the yeah. Inside <laughs> inside. <laughs> you, can't, you can't move. Once you do your foot steps on someone's hand with those shoes on. Though? No, but you can rip your tights. You oh, can like cut your hands. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've had some more. I was going to ask about injuries. I've even gotten mm-hmm. frozen by the ice. The girls were giving me warnings because you can get ice burns. <gasps> 
Yeah, like I ended up, we had to do some type of kick on the ground, and I came back up, and it was like, oh, oh yeah, I got all cut up from it. Oh, I know, things that no. I was, you don't even think about it. Yeah. War wounds from dancing. Do you guys <laughs> bundle up for practice? I do, and the girl laughed so hard at me. Oh, I stole my, um, your guys' trick from Seagals of the heat warmers. Little oh, yeah. <laughs> they go In everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I bundle up. Um, after, I mean, you start to feel fine. The girls are fine when they're practicing the ice. You would assume that it's freezing. I still get cold, but the girls are fine. I just bring those ice the, or those heat warmers with me <laughs> everywhere. Because you're, you're, so how many uniforms do you guys have? Because I mean, oh, some of the uniforms question. were like, you know. Uh, Kristen's been things. working on it. So for 10 years, we still have the same costumes, but, um, she has gotten to rotate in and out and the more progressive the team has gotten, the bigger budget and mm-hmm. more opportunities for us to get new costumes. So. They've definitely gotten some really rad ones in the past few years. How many? I haven't counted. <laughs> Maybe like 15, 20, wow. I think, oh, right that's now. Good. Yeah, that's that a lot. Cool. It's a lot more than we had on some We saw outfit changes at the games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I need to go look at our cheat sheet of costume lists to, to find out how. Maybe that's how many pieces we have. That's okay. probably another thing. Okay. Yeah. That's how many pieces but we do have. you have to bring all of them to every game? We do. That's why. Oh, I have massive suitcases. Yeah, I saw a girl going by with a massive suitcase. I'm like, okay. Yeah. It's kind of like we That way, if somebody forgets something, you can have a last minute mm-hmm. change. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, blazers were like that too. Like you'd have to pack up your bag. You didn't have to bring everything, though. Thank goodness. But you knew ahead of time. Yeah. yeah. Do you That's guys do the promos in the community as well? or is it Yeah, just, they okay. do promotions everywhere. It's so fun. And I think that now people know who the Rosebuds are, so people get really excited to see the girls. And That's awesome. I saw that little events. girl in the elevator. Oh, she's oh, looking right. at you. Oh, when we so were in the elevator, cute. she was, like, enamored. Oh, she's <laughs> so cute. So what I love that they do, so the girls, when um, we're actually cheering up in the arena, um, they'll let girls or boys, whoever wants to come hang out with us, but the girls get so starstruck because yeah. we're so easy and touchable there, right? Like, mm-hmm. on the field, you couldn't get touched, but yeah. Yeah. girls will come up and be like, hi, how are you? And you can give them pom-poms and they can cheer with you. And the girls are, and the dancers are so lives. good with yeah. little ones. They're, the girls on the team, oh my goodness, like the little kids just like radiate to them. It's mm-hmm. so cute. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they've definitely created a little following with a lot of kids at the games. It's very family friendly. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. I mean, that's Portland probably too. ton of fans yeah, too. too. Yeah. Surprise. I was screaming TNT and like, <laughs> yes. everybody like, that's you. it was yeah. so fun. I just yeah. loved it. It's it fun. Really a fun. lot of the veterans too have like watched the kids grow up over the years. So that's they know right. all their names oh and like they've God, seen them since so they were cool. babies. It's so cute. And they have a relationship. So they always see pictures. We need to come cheer all the time with us. And yesterday you guys were there since like eight in the morning. Oh yes, we were. Program, right? Yes, we were. That was a long day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did our kids' clinic yesterday. That's it was right. super cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, there's a bunch of little ones there at the game last night. It's it so fun. cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm just so impressed with what you guys were. I mean, you looked amazing. You're all together. So welcoming. Thanks for having us. Oh my so gosh, yes. it was so fun. I'm we so got cool hats and posters. Mm-hmm. And, like, oh, yeah. We have, yeah. have to share the love. Yeah. 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 We got to come back when it's it. playoff time. I kind of want to see what it's like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, energy coming out, too. You guys games. know you guys are always welcome. Kristen and Vicky are, like, so wonderful about that, so... Good yeah. seats, man. Yeah, Thank we did. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to yell you at anybody. Like, great seats. Oh my gosh, I told you last night, but the girls were like, "Tell them that they kept us going because really? everybody can see you guys cheering." And I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everyone's going to get beer, and we're like, "No, we're just dancing." People are like, "Do you know them?" I'm like, "Yeah, they're like my best friends." <laughs> It's so cool. Oh, so yeah, cool. I was like a kid in a candy store last night with you guys there. I was like, my worlds are colliding. This is so <laughs> fun. Oh, <laughs> it's so fun. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah like, Honestly, you. this was the best weekend. We yeah, had some really adventures was. in Portland that will not make it into Locker yeah, Talk. Really good, <laughs> you guys did a really good job this weekend. Thanks. Portland style. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did it right, I guess. <laughs> That weird. Good thing it's just audio, not video right now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a locker talk to share? Since you are a listener, any fun I, stories from your time? I am sure I have 500 of them. <laughs> Let me think. I should have been totally prepped for this because I've heard all of yours. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, even with the ice, you know, I was like, has anybody slipped really bad? I mean, you just keep on yeah. dancing. Yeah, ladies help them have up. slipped. Uh, and I did last night. I was like, hopefully, I have never slipped, and I hope it doesn't happen. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> uh, we had, um, I haven't had any crazy locker room talk for, for oh, Rose Bunch yet. You but, <laughs> no, I want to give you something because I know I've had good ones over the years. Or any cruise ship yeah. craziness, you know? Oh, cruise ship craziness. There's so much there. So much there. I You had to wear like, I'm not even sure where to start. 
give us anything. <laughs> what did you have to wear? <laughs> Were you on a certain circuit? Like Yeah, okay. I did a couple ships. So we did um, the Mediterranean. Mm. We did, um, like, uh, we went and hit, like, Africa. Whoa, we went cool. and did crossing. I know, it was so amazing. We went and did crossing cruise. We were in Caribbean. I did Hawaii, Mexico, Alaska. Nice. Yeah. So, so we awesome. were on ships so for how long? Um, I did two contracts, and they for dancers they're about eight ish months or oh. so, and you have to live in California for a little bit to learn all the shows, and they ship you off to the ships. So cool. I've always been fascinated with oh. like cruise life. Yeah. Yeah. I've always yes. wanted to do it. Oh my gosh, it needs to be a reality TV yeah, show of what should. happens behind crew doors. They mm-hmm. have below deck. Is it kind of like that where you're like? Really never tight quarters. Oh, really? you gotta watch it. It's my favorite. Show. Is it a reality <laughs> show? It yeah. is. It's about people that Yachties. work on yeah yachts. So they like, yachts. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean that's exactly. definitely different. Yeah, 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 than a big cruise ship. But uh, do, they, do you have to like do other duties aside from just performing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So most cruise lines, yes. For Prince, I would dance for Princess Cruises, and thank goodness we did not. Oh, that's so nice. So I didn't have to do any teaching or any type of oh, um, okay entertainment. Yeah. So yeah. I was really lucky. We still had to at the very beginning of the of the week when passengers got on board. You had to go find your station and put a life jacket oh, on yeah. and like. Do all do the, the action. And go to the left, to the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part was so funny. But yeah, that was the only thing we had That's to good. do. That's good. I was so lucky. So we got to dance probably, oh my gosh. We danced um, maybe like five shows every two weeks in the evening. And then the rest was our time. Like it was oh, insane. Wow. So I, I did a lot of traveling. So I you were really it. well That's traveled. So cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was time. like, give me everything. Every port we go to, I want to do this. Oh, um, so and I was, cool. again, I feel like I'm always the rookie. I was the rookie on the cast. So um, everybody would always want to stay on. Oh, the dancers have been doing it for so many years. Cause usually when you get on ships, they stay there for a long mm-hmm. time. It's a sweet life. So I can see why, but like they usually wouldn't want to go out to go explore anything because they've already done it in there. Yeah. So oh, I would be like, I gotta go, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got places to see. Yeah. That yeah. So oh my cool. goodness. Yeah. The stuff that went on behind closed doors at cruise ships. <laughs> right, is it because you're going I'm batty? so intrigued. I know. Give us... Oh my gosh. Where can I even start? It's like, Just give like one example. High level. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Cause like, I, like there's stuff in my mind, but like, is it even <laughs> crazier than <that? laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think, like, how rainy can we go here? Because, like, there is some stuff that was like, what is just happening? We can edit. I don't know. Yeah. We, can even... we can put explicit down. It's yeah. Fine. <laughs> I got on the cruise ship my first year, and there's a real thing. So, like, um, everybody's on different levels. So, like, the... Uh, where you stay, your Yeah, quarters. where you stay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, like, the officers would get, like, the crazy cool rooms with, like, the actual ship windows and free Wi-Fi, and everybody wanted to be a part of that, but no one did. The dancers, we were treated really nice. We actually stayed behind the stage. We were on, like, level 9 or 10 oh, or wow. something. Okay. So, we were higher up. We still had to share rooms. Like, you live in little quarters that you would never even believe, mm-hmm. but, like, it worked <laughs> out. But literally, you have to go to walk to go to work, and you literally walk down the hallway, and you're backstage. So like, it was very different. But like um, everybody else, there's this whole like community called the Filipino Mafia, and I am not making this up. This is real life. A lot of Filipinos will work on the ship, and um, because they work on the ship, and they'll send home money to their family. So mm-hmm. it's like the majority of the crew is from well, at least for Princess mm-hmm. Cruises, and they call it the Filipino Mafia. It is a real thing. They had levels in the Filipino Mafia, and they would all work the ship, and they would be able to get things because there's so many rules that you were not allowed to do and they would get you things like stickers to put on your electronics so that it was approved so when you had random uh checks for your room you wouldn't get in trouble and get written up. <laughs> they would be able to get you chickens they would be able to get you birthday cakes they would be able to get you batteries like oh, chickens this for what? Silly. it reminds me of like prison <laughs> 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 And you would think those are not big deals, but like when yeah. you live on ships, you're like, we need help. I need <laughs> anything. Like, so many things. And so I remember our line captain at the time, which is our boss, she was so, she had been on the ships for years and she was like, don't worry. I know the Filipino mafia head of everything. And I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh my God. But like, she literally would get them to bring us food after. Cause like usually we were done with shows and none of the food stations were open mm. any longer. So we would be done with shows and they would be like, no pasta food. salad, chickens, <laughs> dessert. And chickens. Just, like, <laughs> I love that there's just chickens everywhere. We can get you a chicken. I see it like that because that's how they said it. We'll get you a chicken. Like sweet. (laughs) Like gold. 
Oh my gosh, so it was like real life. So they would like always maneuver things. And so the other funny thing is that we would have dressers backstage and they were all part of the Filipino mafia too. So sometimes you'd make friends with them. Well, I like, I always tried to talk to them. They're very, very um, respectful. So there's no type of like, because literally they saw no clothes on. So like, you have to like set your clothes quick changes. To- <laughs> you want to talk about quick changes. Like literally you have to set them up so you can go like this and you have sometimes two or three dressers putting clothes on you because you have to walk back oh. out. I thought you meant like a dresser like Me too. You know, drawers. Oh no, so like, actually people, people dress you. Yes. Wow. So, and they have their uh, normal jobs during the day and then it's an extra job for them to come and they get paid on the side to be our dressers backstage. And hopefully if you were lucky, your dresser never changed while you were, uh, cha- like never um, had Changed a new jobs. person mm-hmm. switch mm-hmm. for you yeah. because they know how your quick changes go and what you need. Because oh I've gosh. had one time there was a switch over and no one told me and I didn't make it on stage on time because the dresser was like, I don't know what you need. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need my pants. <laughs> I need my pants. That's weird. How come they didn't just like let you do it yourself? You can't. You don't they, have time. Oh, the cost like, are just to put really like both the, the, you know. Oh, like literally, okay. it was such a fast, quick change. Like ha- sometimes you just even if you had two or three people helping you get dressed, like you literally have to lay things out to step into, pull up, and they button you up and you're on. Like they put your hat or you mean, yeah. pieces oh. on or. So well, it was amazing. Like I'm like, you that's really good. cool that they had that. Because you don't think about if you have a zipper in the back and you can't get it. I was gonna say the times that I've struggled. What is the uniform that would be such a hard thing to get in and out of? The old white ones that we yeah, had rookie no years. There was the some, short sleeve. The short yep. sleeve. Something I would struggle like. Because <laughs> I had like to a pull panic over your head, like you a pull, sport bra. It didn't open. Exactly. Like no boom. Uh, and then you top? Okay. And when you would be stressed out, like in a halftime, trying You'd be to get jumping, out of it, like, <laughs> move your arms across. Help! And you're just, you know, things are swinging. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just, you're just, you're just like, <laughs> ripping it off. And yeah. you try not to get makeup on it. It was just, like, so stressful. It would have been nice to have dressers. I know. Oh, oh my like, gosh. But I'm so shy. Yeah. Or yeah. each other's dressers. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Like, yeah. can you help me get this <laughs> off? My turtleneck is stuck. I can't breathe. Hey, you guys are each other's. Oh, that is so true. <laughs> One time, show group did Alaska cruise and we performed, and it was. I remember so that because Melanie was doing. It. I was quizzing yeah. Melanie, I'm like, "What ship? Did you meet the dancers?" Because at the time, I still knew people who were dancing. I was like, wow. "Tell me everything." They had the coolest dressing room. It was like glamorous yeah. with the lights. You push a button, the whole costume racks yep. like rotate. Oh yeah, oh, God. Wow. crazy Gosh. stuff. Like the dressing rooms were. That's so cool. They don't mess but around. you know, did you ever have um, what is it called? Um, Seasickness. Well, yeah, like the boat just but moving the boat while just you're dancing. Where you can be walking. Sh- oh, while you're dancing? Yeah, well, you're doing oh, a double turn. The boat's okay. moving. Yeah. And so when we danced, I could feel it. And so mm-hmm. I'd be like, I would, you get, know. I would get so sick. And they're, like shows always went Same. on. It never I got canceled. I don't do canceled. good on cruises. Oh, my gosh. It never got canceled. I would get so sick. Everyone else had been doing it for years. So the more you do it, the less seasick you get. So everybody would always be like, Lisa, are you okay? <laughs> but there was, like, there was one um, show we had to do. And I, I had to wear a massive candelabra on the top of my head. It was like... It felt like three feet tall. It was so heavy. It would like cut into my forehead. It was so heavy. And I had a pencil skirt on. And so I couldn't actually really walk because it was so tight. And I was supposed to just be like a (laughs) tilting around, like walking across the stage. And the candelabra was so top heavy. I would turn my head like the ship was (laughs) (laughs) It was so funny. So I'd be on stage like trying not to laugh. Up and down. Oh my God, this is a mess. Because you can't, so you have no choice. You're, the show goes on. Like they yeah. don't care. They're like yeah. mm, injuries. We don't care. We need to. We need to take care of the <laughs> yeah. and footsies. Get out there. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. There was another time uh, we Ooh. were. We had a stage that would drop you down. I, I don't even know if this reads for podcasts, but we had a stage that would drop you down. It's part of the special effects because we would have like mm-hmm. fire and. Mm. Oh, crazy oh, lights and shows. live like there's so much stuff that was going on like pyrotechnics and stuff and like you have different stages that come, come up, up and, and down, down. Mm-hmm. around we had one stage that would like take you down and there was one particular routine we did we had to do an Irish number and we all had to pose and then you're supposed to go down on the lift everybody does it together but the ship we were on it was broken <laughs> so <laughs> the lift went down like this <laughs> you're like <laughs> you're just holding your last pose <laughs> for an hour <laughs> Everyone could never hold it. So all of our shoulders are bouncing. It was supposed to be so like <laughs> every time. No one could keep it in. So I'm sure the cops people the loved it. Were like, like, wow, what on? an exit! Yeah. <laughs> so and you see, like your eyeballs are going. <laughs> I still see you. Have to hold the hand. Yeah. Is the last part. Oh my God, yes, you did. So you have a quick. 
put chains down below. Everybody's chains. And the last guy's like, screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the tallest person. Yeah. <laughs> your dresses are undressing you as so your body goes through. I haven't even tried. He's like, oh, I'm going to be last on stage. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, told you story. I just scar- scratch the surface with cruise ships, guys. That's like a oh, whole other. They we'll have, have you back on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So cruise ship dancers. I don't even think I would have thought of that ever as an option. Well, duh, because I'm like not a dancer, dancer. But you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> how did you even hard. think of um, trying? Um, I had been on a ship with my family like years like that for a family vacation, and I saw the dancers, and I was like, I'm doing that. I can do that. Yeah. 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 That's cool. That's with ever since that and like too. NBA. I want to go back and do and it now. <laughs> Is it too late? Do it. I want to. <laughs> oh my gosh! So uh, the cast, like the people we worked with, were like—I mean, they were so talented that I got to dance with like and singers. We had live singers, so they were mm-hmm. from like, Broadway and West End, and mm-hmm. all of the da- all the dancers had come from somewhere and had mm-hmm. done something professional. And they, oh my gosh, they still to this day like completely impressed me. And that's how ships are. But like the dancers were all older. Like, they all were, like, I mean, they, yes, we had some young. Do we still have a chance? But, like, <laughs> we had um, people on our cast who were, like, still amazingly talented. Like, mm-hmm. 35, 40, even, like, we had 45-year-olds on our cast. Like, the point where I'm, like, oh, my gosh, you can hang. They mm-hmm. take care of them. They have time to take care of themselves mm-hmm. on the ships, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, they are, like, killing it on cruise ships. Well, so we talked yeah. to a girl from London, and it's sad because, like, there is, like, a quote-unquote expiration date for dancers. Oh, yeah. And it sucks because it doesn't matter. You can dance as long as you can dance. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't matter your age. So mm-hmm. that's really cool. Oh, I'm a big proponent of that. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter. She said hand. they're better dancers because they're more mature. She can trust them to be sent to like True. other countries to dance because oh, yeah. they're going to hold their own. They're, they're not, not going to go fresh out of high school. school. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they should not show up for appearances. Go to a Playboy party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, yes. thanks, Lisa. So, like, perfect. Yes, I don't know if that was locker room talk, but. Oh, oh yeah. Was. Was. That was, that was, that was that was you delivered. I don't think any of us like had any idea what mm-hmm. that experience oh could have been yeah. like. So, mm-hmm. fuck cool. naked with your dressers, and you, they never look. They'd always be like this. Oh, oh they were so that's respectful. So polite. And they were all part of the Filipino mafia. And there was one time there was a guy, and like I would always try and make friends with him, just be like, "Hi, how are you? What's going on?" Yeah. And he one time told me, he was like, "Do you see the guy working the lights right there?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." And he like has the spotlight. He's in charge of it, so he never would actually come backstage. He was like, "He's." Oh, no. like, what? <laughs> Him? With the lights? Yeah. <laughs> we all have like side gigs. Wow. But like it was a secret. No one's supposed to know that. Like he's the head of everything. <laughs> the lighting guy. Yeah. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, don't tell anybody. I was like, oh, I'm not. Filipino Mafia is for real. Like, yeah, oh, now yeah. everyone knows though. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just Put that your witness awesome. protection. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never look at a chicken, chicken right? the same. need a battery. If you need to switch rooms, but it's true, you, you don't have access first. to things like that, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and there's a lot of things you're not allowed to have on ships. But if you know the Filipino mafia, all of you a sudden got it. it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they have so many restrictions. Oh my gosh, we had so many rules. Like you weren't allowed to walk in more than a pair of two people. Um, if you ever saw a line, you were never allowed to stand in it. You were never allowed to sit in, sit on. Stools, like if bar stools were around. Granted, pa- uh, dancers wow. for us had yeah. passenger status. Oh, okay. So we could go wherever we wanted to. Mm-hmm. We didn't have curfews or anything. Not everybody could do that. But like, oh. we got picked on big time because we had some privileges, right? Mm-hmm. Like we could do a lot of things that other crew members couldn't. If I remember, you always had to wear a name badge. Whew! If you didn't wear a name badge when you're in passenger area, like. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, stuff would go down. Wow. There was Do one they have time people watching for the oh, they, anybody. Normal guests have attention. a wristband, right? Or like, how would they be able to no. tell? Oh. Just oh. Or just a guest? Well, they yeah, so they crew knows who the crew are yeah. big time because oh, okay. you're always behind the scenes with them. Like, Got it tucked in passenger corridors. They have like a crew bar. They had a lot of crew areas that you can hang out with, so everybody paid attention because everybody okay. knew who the dancers were. Just mm-hmm. because. There was only like what ten of us at the time, Got fifteen it. of us. So, well, and you're gorgeous. So the mafia is probably like, yeah, oh you see God. Lisa. Little brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got her a chicken last night. It's like, be that I'm her dresser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, people would get so, 
so upset with you if you didn't have a name badge on. I had a yeah. maitre d'. I had my hair covering my name badge one day just because I was walking oh, and I got it, yeah. yelled at. I was told I was going to be written up. And if this happens again, you're kicked off the ship. And I was like, I didn't know you had that much power. Right. <laughs> but here's my name badge. Yeah. And I moved my hair. And he was like, if that ever happens again, I was just, I was like a deer wow. in headlights. I'm like, I, I was just mind my own business I'm eating my breakfast. I'm going to tell You're trying to cut me yeah. <laughs> Bill and lighting. <laughs> when so Billy finds out, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get kicked off. <laughs> Somebody fell overboard. <laughs> Yeah, I think so this cool. was worthy of a follow-up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Part two, for sure. I want to know the other girl that you guys know is on show, because I want to compare stories. That's what I'm saying. I have to life. patch all in for, like, a cruise yeah. ship. Oh, I have oh, yeah, friends from Titans little. who did ships, but yeah. I didn't get to hear all these stories. Oh yeah, I think three of them did ships. One of them was a figure skater, so she did ice oh, skating snap. on the ship. There was even a ship that had, like, a Broadway technical Broadway stage and actually hired like Broadway actors to be on there I don't I I feel like it was like hairspray or something they had the ships these days are crazy they have go-kart tracks on them now what (laughs) yeah (laughs) yep Norwegian Cruise Lines has go-kart tracks oh my gosh I know it's insane that's crazy can't have them bored damn I need to watch the cruise (laughs) no cruises are awesome you'll never look at the crew the same way again no no, not not after hearing hearing your story (laughs) you're like and I stopped going on the family vacation (laughs) because yeah I don't know. I never. I don't want to like let you go. So oh, no, yeah. <laughs> like, we can talk to you forever. Thank you for having me. Yeah, that was so, so nice of you. You on. guys are so much fun, and thanks for letting me be a part of your fan club because I love what you guys are doing. Thank I, you so much. I mean, I you're am awesome. like now binge listening to all of your episodes, okay. and I just respect what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. Giving so much love to this world because I loved it for so long. Yeah. So many things I keep hearing you guys talk about. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was my life. This is so real. People don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm qualified. I can barely do a coop turn, so I'm you know, just <laughs> over here trying my best. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're so- Oh well, we really appreciate your support because, yes. yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, I'm on your team. I'm on your fan. I'm part of your fan club now. <laughs> well, and on that note, review us on uh, iTunes. No, yes. no, we just we just love it. It's so much fun and doing things like this and being able to come to games and watch other teams perform. Like, hey, people, like. We'll come. Yeah. We are down for a road trip anytime. Yeah. So we're coming back to a good, another game. Oh, yeah. Come down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, we're excited. She's very sweet. Yay. Yay. We love Portland. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Portland so much. Portland weird. And until next time. <laughs> <See>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on over. I don't know. What is it? <laughs> Keep.